I may have been a little hasty in some of my previous videos where I thought that maybe by calling you an idiot, by calling people idiots, I was responding to an ad hominem attack. Well, I should be interested in noting this source on the right here um, shows a graph uh, that was done in a uh, GIF chart animation of collective charts uh, from 1952 onwards, uh, extrapolating the world mean IQ. Now note that the IQ, yes, is standardized in a particular individual testing format for 100. However, in relation to the actual real mean IQ, it ends up being considerably different. Again, like uh, this is based off the standardization, you know, based off the normal standardization, like, you know, deviation from 100. This is where people are actually at. For 2005, sorry, for 2008, which is where we are at, um, we are currently at around five, uh, six something billion and roughly at around 88.7 as the mean IQ. By 2050, we are supposed to be at 86.32. Now, how accurate is this? Um, how accurate is this projection? Well, um, if you take a look at the graph in relation to world population growth, it does seem to be comparable with where we're at right now. And um, a lot of the factors and everything, and, uh, that site has like full references from the UNESCO, and, uh, sorry, from, uh, uh, from the actual countries and everything else. So like I said, it's fully referenced. It's got all the explanations of data there. But this is what concerns me. If the overall, uh, even as the population grows, if the overall population, if the overall mean of IQ is dropping, and it's already collectively below 100, that says something. That says something very, very fundamental about, and remember, of course, is those that the uh, is that as you're watching this video, um, I'm actually taking a look at it right now, and the um, as the IQ starts to shift, the bulk of the IQ as the mean drops. Well, of course, needless to say, uh, more people are shifting uh, to the the greater the uh, as the you know mean drops, more people are shifting over to the lefter, uh, to the lesser side of the uh, IQ scale as part as par for the course. So this says something very fundamental about our human state right now. Now, I've already specifically said about critical thinking and the fact that we need it more than ever in our society. Well, if this is accurate, I'm beginning to think that maybe, you know, I'm, I'm, I think that this would either even further support my point. Carl Sagan, uh, uh, I can't remember in which book he said it, but around 1985, 1986, said that roughly 95% of the American public were scientifically illiterate. Now, I'm not quite sure where he got that stat from, but this particular stat, I'm fairly confident of. So, to every one of you who I was tempted originally to call you idiots based on your lack of critical thinking, I wouldn't necessarily say I would call you idiots, but I'd certainly say you're starting to act like it, or you're acting like it, or that, you're, that you're, uh, your statements might be idiotic. But that being aside, I think my overall concern is, though, is that if the if the bulk of the public are becoming less critically thinking and are moving to this particular area. Now, in my case, I was measured profe uh, for a professional IQ test as part of my, uh, my diagnosis for Asperger's. I was measured with an IQ of 125. But here's the thing, and mind you, that's above average on standardized testing, which actually, and given the drop in IQ, actually puts me up near the uh, considerably above average. But anyway, I digress. Here's the thing. If, and I repeat if, the world IQ is dropping, that means that the bulk of people are getting stupider. Which means that this could have some very, very profound effects for humanity. We already know what happens in, la in, areas, of, uh, in areas where certain aspects of, of lack of critical thinking uh, have had negative side effects. I don't, uh, particularly in relation to the last uh, videos I was talking about in relation to racism, I don't think I need to um, tell everyone again about the issues that happened in the South before the civil rights laws were passed or about what happened with the Holocaust in Germany when, uh, when a bunch of people were manipulated into thinking that Jews were uh, to be blamed for all the faults. Racism will breed fear, which will breed lack of using the brains up here. And if the overall population is getting stupider, then that means that they're either using their brains less or there's, some, or there's less up here that's functioning. So I really, really cannot stress enough the necessity to get critical thinking education out to the public as quickly as possible to get the tools of logic and critical thinking you know, to as many people as possible and to hope to... Well, since I'm an agnostic, I wouldn't say hope to God, but what the hey, hope to God that something, or hope, or, or hope against hope, that somehow the bulk of the human race actually wakes up and realizes the situation that we are in right now and 
gets their act together and does something about it. We are living, as I've said, but in my, as I said in my previous videos and everything, we are living in a supposedly free society, a supposedly technologically advanced, scientifically and culturally advanced society. If we are living in that advanced society, we're the ones who should be dealing with logic. We should not be stooping to the, um, you know, to what we claim to the, of the civilizations of old, or claim that the, le that, uh, that the other civilizations are inferior of. I mean, uh, we, you know. We dismiss large chunks of uh, Eastern medicine and Eastern philosophy as superstition. Well, if that's the case, let's avoid using superstition on stereotypes ourselves. You know, it's not about hypocrisy. It's about let's actually try to implement the tools that we're telling other people to use. Okay? Anyway, um, I think I'm, I'm, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of uh, negative comments on here about people saying, well, who do you think you are against so high and mighty? But, you know, I mean, it is quite, you know, I will admit, you know, uh, you know, I'm beginning to think that, um, you know, they, there is quite a uh, classification amongst, uh, you know, of uh, they do say, um, you know, there is some statistics to suggest that um, those with Asperger's syndrome and other stuff like that do have a higher level of intelligence, or actually, to be more specific, a higher level of verbal intelligence and a higher capability to hyperfocus in one particular area. Now, because of my tangential web, I can hyperfocus in multiple areas, um, thus making me a little bit more intel. Uh, I digress. The IQ of 125, I think, can speak for itself. But that being aside, I'm not talking about myself now. The main point about all of this is that if the world is getting dumber, we, the intelligent, have to start working all the better to, to, to get our critical thinking capabilities in order and bringing the critical thinking tools to as many people as possible to try to get them to tap what brain power they do have, um, you know, to ha what brain power they do have left and to uh, try to abate this before it gets any worse. Okay? Like I said, I'm not quoting a slippery slope here. The analy the you know the, the calculations in this are fairly reliable and you know all the questions about all this sort of thing about IQ and you know yada 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 are all answered here. You know, and they talk about cultural bias and all that sort of thing. Again, it's been met again, that's already been dealt with. But bear in mind that if the world is getting dumber, we are in for a long haul and the video and the uh, comments I quoted uh, on the uh, from the Reniggers uh, Reniggers jokes one video are only just a sample of a much larger epidemic uh, of mental disease yet to come. And I'm not saying mental illness; I'm saying mental disease, because the uh, if this if this sort of uh, you know these viewpoints for those who are not uh, trained with critical who don't have the critical thinking tools, or even in some cases do have it but just simply are blindsided because they're thinking about other things. This stuff is contagious. Uh, you know, I mean, a, a little manipulation goes a long way. And, um, I mean, if, so, if your friend believes in racism and, uh, and you're not entirely too thinking about it and, or don't really, can't really think of any reason why it's wrong or what have you, then you might start buying into it. I mean, the, the, again, there are historical examples of this to prove that. Us and them mentality has been around for the better part of several thousand years. So I don't think I'm being a worry wart or alarmist or anything where I'm, where I'm saying, or, or even the, uh, the lack of understanding of science or what have you, I don't think I am being an alarmist when I say that I am concerned about the growth of, uh, uh, the growth of, what, of apparent idiocy in our society. And, well, for lack of, uh, due to repetition of, of bad comments or what have you, I would say that in light of the, uh, if they are uh, an example of the mean intelligence, then they are uh, an example of people getting dumber. I'm sorry, but, you know, that's not an ad hominem attack at this point. That's based on what evidence I have. So, um, you know, uh, unless, of course, you can present me with other evidence debunking this particular source, at which point I will amend my statement. But the point is that either way, you know, we need to amend this now. We need to seriously start working on critical thinking, uh, you know, bringing that out to the public. Again, sorry for, for repeating myself for the fifth time, but I need to emphasize this point. And, you know, and, you know, people who want to make ad hominem attacks or say, who do you think you are or anything like that? You know, maybe you should be questioning yourselves as opposed to questioning somebody who's just speaking up and using critical thinking. Okay? Because if you're going to start buying in, if the, if the rest of the world is getting uh, more idiotic, do you want to buy into the opinions of idiots? Okay, I know I'm making that statement here, but again, that's just something to think about, okay? Just to be careful. Again, that's not medicine at home and attack. That's just meaning, like, think carefully. Critically think about your own opinions and then get come to your conclusions, okay? Critical thinking is all we have. If we didn't have logic, we wouldn't be separated from the